Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Hey, um, probably have some scriptures too in here, but there's a reason why I titled this message. Where's Waldo? Where's Jesus? Because a couple years ago, I was at a church, big church here in Dallas. There, I'm not going to say the specifics because hey, I don't want to hurt anybody and B, I just, I just don't, I don't want sensationalizing any of it. But I was at the door and they were all locked. Except one. Actually, they were all locked on this one side. You had to go around another side. And there was a real strong wind outside. And the Lord was speaking to me that the Holy Ghost couldn't enter in. The doors were locked. And that's where I got this, this part of this message. And it's coming out today because of what I'm about to say. But he was like, where's... Waldo took me to that. It's a cartoon book, guys. I don't know how long it's been out, but Waldo's this cartoon character in amongst all these people, and you got to find him. Where's Jesus? All you hear about is the coronavirus. Wear a mask. Lock yourself up. Everybody's running willy-nilly in fear. It's a health issue. Everybody's arguing. You hear about all this other stuff, too. When you Google, do you ever see Jesus? Do you ever even talk about Jesus? No, it's all that stuff. Or the Democrats versus the Republicans, or you're a Trump lover or a Trump hater, or you're an idiot, or you're not. That's why I put out so many of these about idols. God, we idolized everything. We idolize. We pay people hundreds or whatever, millions of dollars to chase a stupid pigskin football. And then we think there's some kind of great voice. Google it, Facebook it, YouTube it. Where's Jesus? And where's he in the church? A few of them loosely lit. Most of them don't. But, and there's some really good preachers out there, guys. So don't get me wrong. I'm not. They're, they're not just remnants. There's some really good, strong preachers out there. But a lot of them, the vast majority of them, a little bit of Jesus, if even that. Loose lip service. Doesn't even exist. And their messages are in their church. I was at a church a while back. Talking to a homeless guy before service. This message was better than what came across the pulpit. The pulpit was all about numbers, people, money, and who I am from the preacher. It's like a show. Oh yeah, there was some gospel and there was some, you know, some biblical, you know, pulled pulled out the Bible and some of it. <laughs> no more of this, guys. Why is it when you go to a lot of churches? I will, okay, let me say this. So you, let me say this first. But why is it when you go to a lot of churches? There's a stage and a platform and a lot, you know, and then the show, it's like a circus act. It's a lights, cameras, you know, sing a little louder song. And I just, why do you have to have a platform, guys? Why is it steps up above everybody? It's, Honestly, it's almost like subliminal, just, just, I'm better than you. That's been the mentality of, of the church culture. And, and I'm going to throw out a few names. I'm sure they won't mind some of them. And there's plenty of them out there. Jeremiah Johnson, I've listened to him some, probably not enough. Uh, Franklin Jensen, David Wilkerson. Uh, there's many, many, many good preachers out there. Some small, some great. I the reason why I don't, Franklin Graham, the reason why I don't put out a lot of names, because of the sensationalism. I'm not trying to grab the sensationalism. Mine either. I'm not trying to sensationalize anything. 
we all have some issues and errors, but it's time to repent, guys. I'll throw this out there. This is a guy, he's a street preacher on Facebook now that I, that I, the Lord highlighted, David Zellers. And he's really, really strong on the repent piece. I grew up in holiness or hell churches, all the Pentecostal movement. I've heard plenty of hellfire and brimstone messages. He's kind of like the Jesus police on military steroids. But when you listen to his message, listen, you can see his heart. That's what I'm saying, guys. Where his heart is all about Jesus. And so he is somebody to listen to. And there's plenty of them, but you're not going to get it from me, him, or others. You're going to get it because I'm very, I'm directional, I'm a watchman, but I'm telling you the direction is there's a reason why it's 5 a.m., but it's prayer all the time. But the Lord told me a while back, he highlighted it real strongly, and he keeps impressing it upon me, the 5 a.m. prayer, because it's quiet, generally. Not a lot of cars out, generally. There's not anybody up, generally. You don't have to turn on this garbage, including the YouTube, the Facebook, the social media, your computer, your, your phone, unless you choose to. Where's Waldo? Where's Jesus, guys, in all this mess? Like I said, you know, I, I can, this is probably a soapbox, but... Oh, you hear uh, the news barking, 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 and one issue is the mask thing. They bark, 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 bark about a mask and how important it is, blah, blah, blah. None of them wear it. Okay, so it's that important? Practice what you preach, and I can say the same thing to the church. Repent or take your sign down. All I have to, this is for me too, guys. Where's Jesus? No more of this, you know, mealy mouth prayer garbage. Yeah, I, you know, you hear it all the time. People, I'll pray for you, I'll pray for you. Man, most of them don't mean it. There's a 30 second prayer, there's a, a nothing. I'm not going to see you praying at five in the morning, but. God is, Jesus is, the Holy Ghost is, and His Word is. And He wants us to do it as a nation because it's time to weep and pray and cry between the ports and the altar. I just put a post out on there. This, la this lady put out there, is this Baghdad or what was it, Venezuela? No, it's Minneapolis. It was a burned up city. Tore up cars. Looked almost like the nine, some of the nine eleven pictures, just not all the dust and stuff. Guys, it's not wake up time. It's time to rise and shine as his people. I'm going to say this too. I've been, you know. I don't like any of this, but, and I've got trapped into this too, this social media garbage. I, some of it was right, but I've got caught in a couple times where I'm just early in the morning and I have been in prayer and I have been up and I have been praying and put 10 posts into it or whatever. And suddenly I've got, you know, some that probably aren't actually probably correct even. That's okay. I'm, you know, I'm human and I'm trying not to. So I've, you know, backed off a little bit trying to pray more about it. When I'm not backing off of what I'm saying, where's Jesus? And I've seen a lot of preachers, including the people that are supposed to be representing Christians and voicing and the got the president's ear and supposed to be representing Christ. Their comments are turned off. What are you scared of? Gutless. No backbone. Where's the Holy Ghost in it? What are you afraid of? I got one pastor that and we disagree on probably 90%. He knows who I'm talking about. But I want to hear some of his posts. I really do. A few of them are really good, or parts of them are really good enough. 
even if we disagree. That's the, that's the issue, guys, that we've got here. Nobody's listening. Jesus, God, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, or each other. And so all hell's been breaking loose. We've got, this is, it's three years, four years old, it was after, two, two days after the election. It had nothing to do with the election, guys, because that's been idolized. Politics been idolized. President's been idolized. Democrats versus Republicans been idolized. Two days after the election, and I gotta say one other thing, and then I'm gonna end. It's out there. Jesus has to be at the center. If we don't get him back, put him back in the center of our lives, the church, and the world. And this is a good message, guys. His grace is sufficient. His mercy and truth endures. You're still here, you're still breathing, you're still watching this. You still got an opportunity to live a life that much more abundantly. Instead, we wanna hear all the, the blessed life message and you're gonna get a new car and a new house and <clears throat> boom, shebang. Well, you might, but what if you don't? You still gonna serve him. Man, I've got so much provision all around us with our job. And I don't get any, I'm not, you know, I'm not asking anybody for anything on any of this. I don't got an offering base. I don't have a, nothing. Ministered at a homeless shelter for three years. In one, in one of the messages sometimes, and some of the messages, there was some, uh, was on one time. I said, guys, I said, I'm not here for the money. I said, if I ask for an offering, I get two bucks and some lint. It was one of those pour out. There was nothing coming back, but my treasures were laid up in heaven. So, where is Jesus? And you're going to get it at 5 in the morning, your direction from the Holy Ghost and from God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost and His Word. Because there's not a distraction unless if you pick it up, you can choose. This is some serious time, guys. Look at the one I got about the storm. You think that it's, this is a storm? Yes, it is. Everywhere you look, it's some kind of storm. Man, 8-11 and 9-11. There is a storm coming and it's multiple storms and it's gonna be a time to choose. No more fence riding, no more wishy-washiness. It's gonna be real cut and dry. You're in or you're out. I'm sorry, God. I'm not trying to fear anybody into this because actually that's, you know, in Revelation it says, the, the fearful and unbelieving won't enter in. All this fear-based messages don't work either, guys. This is not a fear-based message. This is a directional. I'm not telling you to listen to any of these other preachers that I named or anything or even others or even me. I'm telling you that's the beauty of the cross, that you can go straight to, your, to the source, get it for yourself, pure and clean, unadulterated, unbiased, unfact-checked, or whatever. I'll end with this, okay? We've got to realize that we're his body. And are you a vessel for honor or for dishonor? Nobody wants to hear that part of it either. They want to think everybody's going to make it in. Well, what about the wheat and tares? Guys, you got to read your Bible. Guys, you got to pray. Guys, you got to seek his face. But... What I'm saying is about the vessels. Now I'm gonna just, I got, I'll go, I'll go with three of them, okay? There's many, but gas can, milk jug, storage container, actually, and one for my dog food. A 
storage tub totes, okay? I'm not gonna put my gas can with gas in my refrigerator. I'm not gonna put my milk. I got a special tub I have to leave out my garage. It's actually a five gallon pail um, with my dog food in it because we're not in the country, but there's a big field behind us, a lot of trees and stuff. And environments come in and eat my dog food to keep it sealed up. Tub, I got to tow it out there. I got to keep the kids' pools and stuff in there to keep them, just stuff that I need. Well, I don't pour my milk out in the storage tub in the garage. It's going to spoil. Or I try to put that toad in the, in the refrigerator either. But you know what? I need. I like my grass cut, so I need my gas can. I like my dog food kept safe because I want a bunch of varmints in it. So I got to use it. I like a cold glass of milk. So, they're all plastic, they're all vessels, they're all, but I can't put a different importance on any of them. I kind of need them all. That's the, so, you could be a little bit different vessel. That's okay. Some of it's part of the journey too, but You've got to get, everybody's all on this fact checking who's your source garbage right now. What I'm saying is who is really your source? Where's Jesus? Where are you getting this from? If you don't like what I said or disagree or whatever, it's relevant, but it's not, it's irrelevant. Ask God. Ask Jesus, ask the Holy Ghost. Ask his word, look in his word. Guys, we're not gonna stop the coronavirus with the mask and a lockdown. All it's ushering in is the mark of the beast. It's already here, kind of with the mask, you can't buy a cell. I went out yesterday and went to two store and I was walking. Keep a mask in my pocket. It just depends on what the attitude is, whether I put it on or whether I walk out. Shop all the time. I'm not going to tell you where, because you're going to send the corona police up my behind. Guys, where's Jesus in this? Got to get him. We're going to, I'll give, I'll give you a, a safety tip with this coronavirus, okay? Everybody's a mask, it's a health issue, okay, great, awesome. I get it, I don't want anybody sick. I pray for the sick all the time. I've got some pretty serious health issues. You have no idea the swamp that I had to wait, I have to wade through to get here. <clears throat> That's okay, because His grace is sufficient, His mercy and truth endures forever. That, that, I pull a Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. He's done some miraculous things in my life. Actually, probably a walking miracle, honestly, God. I don't know I am. One day you'll hear all the testimony, but right now, no. But this is a safe, yeah, God, this is a tip, okay, guys? Wear a mask, lock yourself up. Well, you know what? Maybe it's time to put on some rubber boots. Why? Because the bowl's getting kind of deep and it stinks. said all you hear about is everything but you don't hear about Jesus where is he guys some surreal off in, off in heaven guys it's a hard issue you're going to get your guidance, direction obedience he just wants to to listen and that's why the 5 a.m. is so important because there's not a bunch of garbage going on and distractions unless if you pick it up you pray for five minutes and you grab your newspaper well newspapers all but so you grab your all the social media garbage it's why I don't even like doing this but the Lord told me to do it so I'm just doing it out of obedience it's just a tool to get the word out <clears throat> Where's Jesus, guys? Or are you picking up all this other stuff? Is your 
It's like a mind warp. The enemy, it, right now the enemy, but I know this, this is this is a good thing for me because when I see the enemy all over the place, the spirit of the Lord, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard. And after our minds, because he wants to get to our heart, pollute it and dilute it with all this garbage. It's like, it's like when you go to the garbage dump, I told my wife this one time, it's like when you go to the garbage dump, when you can do a 360 everywhere you go, there's stinky trash. Look around. Garbage. Are you going to eat that? Fill your mind with that? Pollute yourself with all that? Or are you going to get to the source of the living water? Read revelations about the water. The water, the well. Jesus, what did he tell the woman at the well? Drink of these waters and never thirst again. Where's, where's your source? Where are you getting this from? Get up with me at five in the morning. Guys, I don't get up every day, but I'm just saying, because if we do that as a nation and as a people, you're not going to see me in my house. I'm not going to see you. God is. All he knows is. Jesus is. His word is. It's time, guys. Are we going to just roll over and be roadkill on this? On this? I don't wear a mask and haven't since the, this started. Uh, sometimes I got stuck in that. I hate it. It's grievous to the Holy Ghost. It's not because of a health issue and because I want to get somebody else sick. And it's not because I'm trying to be disobedient or disobey the law or any of that stuff. Where is Jesus? It's time we put him back in the center of our life, church, school, everything we do. And until we do, don't expect changes from a barking dog. This world is pretty twisted, guys. You know it is. We can all get on that soapbox and it just it becomes a distraction. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to end with this. A kid in the, in the 60s. Little kid. My parents were Catholic and you couldn't eat meat on Friday. Imagine that. So those cheap fish sticks and cheese and macaroni and cheese and a TV tray in front of a black and white TV. On Friday night, my parents always went out bowling mostly. And um, this is me. I don't watch Star Trek, old Captain Kirk. So I'm going to go boldly where no man has gone before. I guess I watched too much TV as a kid. I'm telling you, where is Jesus in this? And then I'm going to end with this. All this, you know, everybody's like panicked about this coronavirus and the church closings and stuff. And, you know, God, you know, he allowed this to happen, guys, because the houses were built upon sand. And he wants it built upon a rock. Some of them are cropping back up just right where they were at. They're still building upon it, sand and inferior products just because they got a little bit of money or whatever. They got the, you know, they got the business sense to do it. It hadn't changed. They're not going to last anyhow. And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not anti against anybody. I wanted to be right with God. Jesus, the Holy Ghost. I told a friend of mine that's really, I mean, he's a, just a street preacher. Um, noble life, actually. I'll put a plug in for him. It's, man, he just hits the street 10, 12 hours a day ministering to people. Email, email me or look him up and hit the street with him for you won't last, most of us won't last two or three hours in that world. It's tough. He's just out there doing it. Because that's the, what God told him to do. He's being obedient. And he needs some help, honestly. And some volunteers. 
So I'm going to put that out next, but or soon. But where's Jesus in this, guys? So get him back. Put him first. Get up when there's no distraction. And maybe your prayer time is 12 at night. Maybe, maybe you work at night. I mean, there's things that can, yeah, I get it. So does God. So as many of you as, as can. But if you can't, find that place of prayer. Whether it's your, you know, backyard or wherever. Get away with God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. And quit all this fact-checking, social media, news, and turn it off. Turn to Jesus. Love you guys. Um, try to make these short. It doesn't work. I, I just I can't. I want to though. Love you. Talk to you soon.